What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we are going to do a simple project. We're going to unclog a drain. I'm going to teach you exactly how it works and how to do it. We're going to break it down uh, elementary style and we're going to show you everything you need to know about a drain in your sink. So if you're interested in the video, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so change of scenery, I decided to bring you down to the chalkboard, show you exactly how a drain works and exactly what we're going to do. So let's uh, make this nice, quick and uh, simple for you. So your drain comes out of your sink bowl, alright, let's call this your sink bowl and then you have your faucet. Alright, everybody got it, okay. Uh, now your drain comes out of here. We're going to make this not to scale, okay. Your drain comes down and you should have an S-trap, okay, that goes like this. And then it should go out somewhere. Maybe it goes out the pipe behind your uh, sink or whatever. Don't worry about this little guy down here. All right. So it comes out, goes out through the wall. So here is your trap here. Now, this is always filled with fluid here. Uh, it's always going to be filled with water. Uh, this is so the gases and uh, otherwise smells that are in your septic system or in the sewer don't come back through and you can't smell them out of the drain in your sink. So as time goes on, you drop stuff down the sink, your wife, or your girlfriend, your significant other, whatever, sheds a bunch of hair, and then it starts to clog this trap up. So if you drop anything heavy in the sink uh, and it goes down through the faucet, you can take off your P-trap here and you can probably retrieve it right out of your sink. Wedding band, uh, you know, uh, earring, it's most likely stuck right here in your trap. So what also gets stuck here is hair and nasty stuff. I have a sink that is, uh, is draining a little slow. These are the, the first signs that you have a problem with your trap is that it's taking a while for your drain to uh, you know clear out or for your water to go down the drain so those are your first signs uh, make sure that you stay on top of it it's really easy to do it uh, I you know you see it right here when I'm rolling it in that is just taking a little bit of time to go down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up underneath the sink the key is to clean out as much area as you can underneath your sink so you can work on it so let's go upstairs and I'll show you exactly how to do it all right, guys, so <laughs> I'm in here underneath the cabinet. So uh, this is your S-trap that we were talking about, or some people call it a P-trap, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a trap on your sink. Uh, a lot of people call this the tailpiece that comes off of the sink. And then you have your P-trap here, and then it goes back into your wall, okay? So a lot of the times you have this, you can see this little tang here. Uh, it is a piece that you can grab onto with your hands, and you can loosen these pipes by hand. See the little wing nuts? It's kind of easy to do by hand. You might not even need a wrench to do this. That's what they're designed to be. Um, you want to pay attention to your orientation here, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, and uh, which side has the... Uh, has the threads on it. So this other one, same deal. Um, you might need to take a wrench to it. You might need to just take two hands and it comes loose. So I was able to crack that loose with two hands. Um, now the next step is to, um, you know, put on your, uh, <laughs> put on your game face here because there might be some nasty stuff here in the drain. I always put I always put a container down here. Um, th this is full of water, like I said. So when you start here, you're not going to want to just leave the stuff in the cabinet uh, or in the wooden bottom. All right. So you start to take this apart, get, have your game face on here, because it's probably going to be some nasty hair um, and things like that. Now, as you can see, the water start to drip out of here. Remember, it is full of water. So. Let's go ahead and keep screwing it off here and it will eventually come down like this, okay? Now we're gonna unloosen this part. Now remember this is still full of water so as you loosen this, it might fall off or it might take a little coercing, okay? All right, now it just fell off. I like it. Okay, so what we have here is not a lot of stuff going on here. Um, the trap was fairly clean um, if you can see that, the, the trap was pretty darn clear. 
So now we have a different uh, problem here. We need to figure out what's going on uh, further on beyond this. All right, guys, since my trap was clear, uh, the next thing you want to check is the actual drain assembly. So a lot of the times, uh, right around your drain at the bottom of your sink, uh, it can get really gummed up. So we're going to attempt to take apart the drain here in the sink um, just to take the little plunger out. Um, there's obviously some gunk around it. So let's spin the camera around. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so obviously we're looking here in the bowl of our sink here. Um, hopefully you can see... Uh, the amount of crud and crap that is down here around uh, the base of the sink. So what we need to figure out is exactly how this thing comes apart here. Um, this one might just spin out. It seems like it's spinning out. Give it a little Yanksies here. Okay. Not necessarily coming out as easy as I thought. Um, if you have a old pull style like this, um, you're going to definitely have to disconnect it. It looks like ours is connected. So we'll go back down underneath the sink. And it looks like the plunger actuator here. See this? This is connected to it. You need to take off your little clip here. Take off your clip. And then this piece here should screw out. Lefty Lucy, remember. This should screw out here and literally just drop out. So all this did was it goes into the hole in the upright and holds it into place. Now we should be able to pull this right up out of here. And like I said, always have your game face on because this is nasty stuff. But just look how much stuff was around the edge of the sink or right around the edge of the drain. So this stuff did not make it to the P-trap. Um, it was just right here by the drain. All right, guys, what's not so fun is the amount of crap that comes out of just right here by your drain. Nasty, put on your game face uh, if you need to be a plumber. This will save you definitely uh, from big bills from the plumber. Uh, let's say a service charge costs you 150 to 100, and, you know, upwards of 200 dollars for a guy to come out. Uh, something that could be fixed in five minutes. Um, just disassembling the drain here and getting this clump out um, could save you big money. So well, let's go back down to the chalkboard. All right, guys. So that was a little gnarly. Um, what I wanted to explain here is what I told you. Uh, when you have the plunger here, make sure I'm in camera. Yeah. So when you have the plunger here in the, let's call this the tailpiece from the sink. Okay. You have your little, um, your little, whatever you want to call it, the little thing that plugs the hole in the thing we took out and cleaned off. All right. Um, that goes down into the into the tail section like this. Okay. You have your piece here. Now, at the bottom, there was a little flange like this. Now, that shaft that I showed you goes in there like that, okay? And it has a little ball here to seal it off from the drain, okay? So what we did was, you know, in your faucet, when you pull up on the little thing, um, it basically teeters this up and pulls this down into the hole. So obviously, this area has very little clearance, so that's why it clogs up easier. So I'm glad that we, you know, it was a simple fix. It wasn't in the trap, but it was right here in the uh, in the stopper. And we were able to, you cannot pull that stopper out until you take that rod out uh, because it's going through the end of the piece of plastic to hold it. So make sure you take your rod out. You can disconnect it here uh, with that little clip, or you can just take the, the little uh, ring out and it should plop right out of there. It fell in a bucket for me, but... And then take it out, clean it really good, put it back in. Too easy. So I hope this helped some of you guys out there. If you're looking into, you know, why your drain might be clogged. Um, I don't necessarily like being a plumber, but I can do all of the things. Um, it's not fun work, especially when you're working on a drain like that where there's hair and there's just ugh, this crap in it. So, uh, you know, put your game face on, get out there, make it happen, save yourself a couple bucks. I hope this video helps someone. And uh, I, I just, you know, that's the main reason why I'm here on the channel is to help people get good information out there. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you click subscribe. If you like the video, you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up 
or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.